Alright, what's going on guys? So in this video we're going to be dealing with another Python exercise on data structures. In this video we will be dealing with dictionaries. Alright, so let's just take a look at the doc string. So you'll have Python exercise combine two dicks into one. Now if you look at the examples, we have dick1 and dick2. And the objective of this exercise is to combine them into a dick3. So a dick3 will be a combination of all the elements of dick1 and dick2. All right, so before we start the exercise, we want to create the first two dictionaries, and I'll walk you guys through that. Okay, so we're going to import string and random, and we're going to use random seed 3. So random seed just allows for reproducibility. So you could run the code over and over, and you'll get the same random value. Now I'm actually creating a, a comprehensive video on randoms, so just be on the lookout for that video. But for now, you should just know that it allows for reproducibility when doing experiments. All right, so now we have string.ascii lowercase for the next line, and we're going to be saving that to letters. So string.ascii lowercase is just the entire alphabet as a string. And then random.sample, we're going to sample eight of those letters. And we're going to use eight of those letters to create two different dictionaries. So I think it would just be easier if I ran this code. All right, so as you can see, I have two different dictionaries, and each of them have three keys each, some from 0 to 3, and the bottom one has from 4 to 7. And we have a bunch of letters with each of the keys. Now notice that the first dictionary has H, followed by S, followed by R, followed by E. Now if I run this again, you'll notice the same keys, H, S, R, E, and this is due to the random seed being set to 3. Now if I change this to 2, You'll see that I'll get different letters. But if I run this again, you'll see I get the same letters. So that's basically what random seed is allowing us to do. All right, so we have two different dictionaries. So what I want you guys to do is first uh, create two different dictionaries. You could copy my code, or you can actually just uh, try to come up with uh, two different dictionaries. And once you've gotten the two dictionaries, I want you to try to figure out how to uh, combine the two dictionaries into a single dictionary, a uh, dict3. So I want you to pause the video and try to come up with the way to create dict3, which is a combination of dict1 and dict2. All right, welcome back, guys. Hopefully you were able to solve it or come up with a solution. Now here is one solution, which is pretty elegant. So we have dict3, and what we're going to do is with dict3, we're creating a new dictionary, and we're using quarks to plot the keywords from each of the dictionary. So if you don't know what these two asterisks are, you should check out my video on args and quarks, with quarks standing for keyword arguments. So here what we're doing is we're pulling all the keyword arguments from dictionary 1 and all the keyword arguments from dictionary 2, and we're combining them to create a dictionary 3. So if I run this now, you can see that we have dictionary 1 and dictionary 2 combined. So we have... Um, 0b, 1c, etc., and then 4f, 5j, 6i, 7g. All right, so that's the solution to this exercise. If there's anything else you guys want to see, always leave comments as to if you enjoyed it and uh, comments as to what you would like to see. And also you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well. I'll be putting some updates as to what I'm doing, etc., on Facebook. All right, guys, I will see you guys next time.